This video will show you how to integrate your app using some of the APIs that your Nexus has to offer. The functionalities you'll be developing will enable you to share content using various applications, in addition to the possibility of scheduling events in the user schedule. First, note that new attributes are defined in your restaurant transaction, such as the restaurant's opening date, restaurant opening date, and the times of start and finish of the celebration, restaurant initial time, and restaurant end time. So start by going to Genexus. You'll be working on the View Restaurants object. Suppose that this panel shows you restaurants that celebrate their opening, and you wish to share that information in addition to scheduling the celebration's date and time on the calendar. On the grid, below the attributes, define a button called the Share Event Then go to that associated event, and to share the restaurant's name and address. For this, use the Share API. This API has different methods to share text, images, files, and so on. It's very simple to use. In this example, you'll be sharing text. When you write share.sharetext, you'll see that this method receives three parameters. The text, an optional URL, and a title. The text you will share is the restaurant's location, restaurant address. You enter nothing in URL. And for title, you enter the name of the restaurant, restaurant name followed by the word restaurant and the name of the city, city name. Additionally, you'll be including the possibility of adding a celebration of a restaurant's opening to the user's schedule. To this end, you add another button called Schedule. In the event, you'll use the Calendar API and the schedule method that receives several parameters. So you write calendar dot schedule. For title, you write the restaurant name followed by restaurant opening and the name of the city. Then you indicate the opening date restaurant opening date for both the start date and the end date. And then the initial time, followed by the end time, and the name of the city. To view these functionalities at runtime, you select Run. you'll see the Share and Schedule buttons that you've just defined. Then you press Share, and you'll see the title you defined for sharing, and different options to do so. If you now press the Schedule button, you'll be opening the schedule with the information to be recorded, the restaurant's opening in Paris, the date, and the initial and end time. It should be pointed out that you could also have used the Twitter API to compare the information and do it by means of a tweet. Genexus offers this Twitter API with various methods for sharing text, text and image, and follow other users.